I'm Deborah Sexton, President and CEO of PCMA, and I'm here with Michael Doyle, Executive Director of the Virtual Edge Institute, who produces the Virtual Edge Summit. One of the hottest topics in the meetings industry right now is virtual and hybrid meetings. Virtual meetings are not only the wave of the future, but excellent complements to face-to-face -face meetings and provide a strategy for building attendance at live events. Between now and the PCMA annual meeting convening leaders in January, we'll be phasing in a virtual experience for PCMA attendees to educate them on the execution of virtual and hybrid meetings. We'll demonstrate best practices along the way to keep you at the forefront of the meetings industry. One of the ways PCMA is educating the members is through the co-location of the Virtual Edge Summit with PCMA convening leaders. So Michael, why don't you tell us a little bit about your organization and your event? Great. Well, the, um, the Virtual Edge Institute is an organization that I started about three years ago, and its focus is really to help event, meeting, and, um, and um, learning professionals add virtual elements into their portfolio of um, events and, and learning activities. So we really help them with best practices and um, uh, how-to information and we do that through uh, one of their primary ways is through our events and uh, we have the Virtual Edge Summit which is a hybrid event so we'll be doing it in a virtual environment like this and we'll also be doing it uh, live at uh, the PCMA conference uh, with you in Las Vegas and that's really an opportunity for um, people to come and you know get information from um, some of the top experts in the industry. We have about 65 sessions that uh, that we'll be doing with with you know uh, many many speakers from corporations, from associations, um, from independent event producers, and they're all coming to share their knowledge and it, it, their experience in in engaging audiences through the use of virtual technologies. That's great. So what can PCMA members uh, and attendees expect to see at the Virtual Edge Summit? Well, a number of different things. Um, we'll start with the technology because that's the candy everybody likes to, to go to first. Um, not necessarily the best way to plan your engagements, but uh, that's, that's some fun stuff there. So we'll have all of the top uh, platform producers there, as well as the service providers that support them. But um, you'll see all the latest technology, and this technology is changing all the time. You know, every few months there's new uh, advances in the platforms out there and the capabilities. So you'll see all the latest there and you'll be able to your, your attendees will be able to go and see um, the demos and get to experience firsthand you know hands-on experience with building a booth uh, experience a virtual environment both from their exhibitor and, and sponsor standpoint as well as their attendee standpoint so that's one thing that whole exhibitor um, experience that we have and a lot of demos in there um, a lot of capabilities uh, studies that we'll be doing that those vendors will be providing. Then we get to our educational program. And as I mentioned, we have several different sessions, several different tracks. One of them is focused on associations. So we're really looking to help associations get started in this if they're not already. And if they are already, elevate their program to the next level. So we have lots of experts that are coming in from associations, but we also think that the association attendees are really going to be interested, as well as your corporate uh, members and, and attendees, are going to be really interested in what some of the other corporate um, event producers uh, are, are doing out there, because they're some of the folks that are out there really experimenting with all sorts of different technologies, with all sorts of different audiences, and they've made a lot of um, mistakes already, and they've had a lot of success already, and I think you know, your attendees will, will be able to benefit from that. So they're really going to see the full pers uh, spectrum of what's available from a Cisco that's very, very advanced to someone just beginning in this in the, in this area is that right? Yeah, that's right. And and we do that um, you know purposely. Um, we try to give everybody you know a, a full um, view of what's going on out there in the industry. And you know to be honest with you, there are many in the association space that are just getting started. Um, there's still many in the corporate space that are just getting started. Um, but there are a lot of folks in the uh, corporate side of things, like Cisco. You mentioned Cisco. Cisco is probably an example of well. We have more speakers from Cisco than any other company out there. And one of the reasons is not because we just love Cisco, but because they are doing 
all of these different kinds of virtual engagements, um, you know, from, uh, uh, you know, sophisticated webcasts all the way up to telepresence and everything in between. And, um, and they're willing to share. And they're willing to really, you know, take you behind the scenes and explain to people what worked and what didn't work. And, um, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity. But we also have folks from IBM. Uh, you know, IBM is doing some amazing things with virtual environments right now. And so we have a, a, a keynote that is focusing on a new new 365 day a year perpetual engagement that IBM is launching. And I think that's going to be really important for all the PCMA members, um, whether they're association or corporate. 365 is, you know, is, is the, the hot thing right now. It's interesting. What you're going to present as far as education during convening leaders um, is obviously the most important to our members. But we as an organization are also just getting involved mm -hmm. in a virtual platform and a hybrid meeting. So we're going to carry our members, hopefully th with your help, through this process. And we may make some mistakes, but I think that's OK, because our goal is to really educate the members on what it takes to get involved in a virtual or hybrid meeting. Well. You know, it's funny you should say that because uh, we've been doing this for years now, and we produce all sorts of different types of virtual events around our event, um, things that no one else would ever do except for somebody like us that's, you know, trying to make a laboratory out of this and, and show people all the different types of things you can do. Um, so we've made a lot of mistakes, too. And I guarantee you anybody who is just starting this is going to have a very, you know, exciting uh, experience with their first vi virtual event. And, and, you know, whether it's corporate or association, the story is always the same. You know, we kind of did our first one and we were, you know, it's the fear, uncertainty, doubt. We were afraid of doing this. Um, we were uncertain that our audience was going to, you know, really like it. And uh, we doubted we were going to get the kind of outcome that we were really expecting. Um, and, and they go through their first one and then each one after that gets progressively easier. So, you know, after the first one, it's like, I'm didn't know it was going to be that hard. Um, but after the second one, it's like, oh, we got this. You know, we know how to do this. And we're doing two more. And um, so that's the kind of progression. And what I would say to people is, if you're not there now, if you haven't started now, this is the time to start. You know, don't wait, because it'll pass you by. And if it's, if it's not you that's doing it in your industry, um, someone else will. So yeah, and as I said, uh, as an industry organization, it's our responsibility to at least provide this kind of education. It was, it's interesting. At this year's Convening Leaders in Dallas, we did uh, several live webcasts of mm -hmm. our major general sessions. And, of course, I was worried that people would think that it's easier to stay home and see these online, and uh, that might diminish mm -hmm. the overall attendance uh, on, on our events. And the absolute opposite happened. I got lots and lots of emails saying, this was really great, and we appreciate it. We were uh, uh, handicapped with budgetary issues this year, so we couldn't come. But what this has actually proven to us is that, or to that individual, is that I need to be there. I need to, to have that peer-to-peer -peer conversation. So we're budgeting to come to convening leaders next year. So it, it did the absolute opposite, which it validated the, the, the success of being together face-to-face. -to -face. Yeah. Uh, but yet brought in a larger audience, which I thought was, was wonderful, and I frankly was very surprised. Well, that's good. We're going to have to put you on that session. We have a session devoted to um, using virtual engagement to drive physical attendance uh, at the event. So I think that'll, that'll be a, a, great, uh, a great session, and we'll have to talk to you about that. But that is the experience. If you talk to the people who have been doing these kinds of engagements for a long time now, um, you know, anybody who has got a pretty large portfolio of physical and virtual events, you know, they'll tell you the same thing. It does not cannibalize at all. It only expands and helps to drive, as you said, new uh, attendees to your physical events. So, you're, you know, th that's right on. Well, and I, I must tell you, Michael, that uh, we announced this co-location several weeks ago, and I've heard nothing but positive things about the fact that we're co-locating with your organization uh, to deliver this uh, premier education. So 
Uh, I want to thank you, and I look forward to an ongoing relationship with Virtual Edge Summit. Well, let me take this opportunity to uh, to return that and say, um, you know, we've uh, you know we've really focused on providing a a very high quality educational program for people, um, trying to bring the best people out there that are willing to talk and share uh, their ideas, and uh, to be able to expand that audience to uh, PCMA's uh, attendees is is really uh, you know. Know, just fantastic for us and a great opportunity and, and we thank you as well. Well this is new, this is very exciting um, and uh, we're, we're thrilled to be able to deliver this kind of education to our members so thank you.